Sometimes I feel like a motherless child a long way from home. In many ways, uh, we seem not willing to join the 21st century. We seem in some ways to be creeping into the 20th century. <laughs> Well, we stood in those unmovable lines. My wife was from Alabama, I was from Louisiana. As soon as the sit-ins broke out, we said it's time for us to go back home. We remember those times. It's a certain amount of energy you know, that I have because of that. You know, a certain edge. I take that with me everywhere. We have a lot of rich history here. This is the one spot in, in the world, in the whole universe, that really feels like home. Why move back to Mississippi? That's where my comfort zone is. I'm comfortable on home ground, on home territory. I left Mississippi on a mule, and this is for us, we got to start raining. <laughs> <laughs> and I can still walk home. Max says, man, why are you leaving Brooklyn? I said, New Orleans is my home. I said, I'm going home, man. I want to be home. We've gone through a tremendous transition. And this migration has been helpful in making everything move forward. For the first time in the 300 plus years of um, the African American experience in the United States, more people are returning to the South than are leaving the South. The South was not home to the first African. But we survived. We thrived with passion, with compassion, with humor and style. So we went back home to change things, and we have totally desegregated this city. The other thing is we built the world's busiest airport. We have 95 million people coming through that airport a year. So we probably created this migration. <laughs> People go where the money is, and we attracted the money here to Atlanta. You really have to put yourself in a financial place. You know, something like this up north will cost you shit, about six, seven hundred thousand dollars up north, and down here you can get it for about two. You know, so you do the math. When I moved back home, I couldn't believe what I could get for the amount of money that I had to spend. Because we couldn't have gotten all this in D.C. Hey, this is Christ Keeper, B-103. This is how black folks roll down south. We do it big like this, all right? Live on your radio. Some people got to have it. You know, when I got here, it just really started to thrive. It was slowly becoming a new mecca. We'll be first one. We in the A, Harlem, Jersey, all of that, we here. I found out on my way to Harlem. We have led a tremendous fight against gentrification in Harlem. The structures that are being built to run up to a million dollars, we are being pushed out. People are leaving. Cities like Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Youngstown. So this gentrification process that occurs is an, is an effort to attract uh, younger workers at the expense of the traditional workers that populate the inner cities who are now finding themselves not only out of work, but in many cases out of housing. Where are those people from that project that was destroyed, demolition, and risking all the cities? Where are they? Now, 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 you can't keep me away from where I was born. Everyone is looking to find a better life, or to find life, or to find a way to live. Black people have realized the North did not deliver them. Ooh, where my blue 
converging and into this moment of migration and so I'm here to stay I'm home now when I started coming back to visit my parents people were just so friendly you know I remember realizing one time how beautiful everything is you know it's quiet there's a little rustle in the trees I thought yeah, you know, I'm selling a home short, you know, so it's all of that, you know. And so there's money, there's opportunity, uh, there's education, uh, and uh, it doesn't get too cold and it, the air conditioning will help you when it's too hot. Uh, so you can't find any better place to live. So the human truth about the South is that it is beautiful, it is my historic place. My fathers, grandfathers, and great grand slaved here and built these big mansions and these plantations. And given that, I'm proud to be who I am. go south I walk <laughs> this is my place oh yes my dear I earned this place and no one can send me away